I well, think- I'll tell you what, um, um, Norman, let yeah. me get, since uh, I was trying to log in early uh, before noon, so let me get my paper and pen here because I do want to get some notes. I'm not, Go ahead. I, I really don't have a recorder. Go ahead. But um, hang on. Okay, you, I have a recorder here. I can record it, and you can get a copy if you want. Uh, okay, just a minute. Uh, I mean, the other thing I was uh, going to get for you was uh, we we are currently looking for a CI manager, and so I have the job description that got posted on like Indeed and places like that that the division president has defined this person's role. Um, Say that again, what are you looking for? I beg your pardon? What's the title of the job you're looking for? Continuous Improvement Manager. But I thought that's you. No, no, no. I'm a Continuous Improvement Worker Bee. You're a worker bee, so why don't you become the manager? What's that? Why don't you become the manager? Well, I've asked. Uh, but they don't, I guess they don't want me. Um, no, no, forget, forget about that. Forget about that. They don't want you. You have to do the following, Kent. You write down exactly what your talents are. Yep, yep. Number, one. Number one. Number two. Number two. You tell you them, tell them that, that you that want you that want job. That you do a great do a job. Great job. Listen, listen. Oh, your boy, your boy, boy. I got an echo. Okay, let's okay, try. let's try. Uh, uh, Sandro, Sandro, turn off, turn your off your mic. Make make, make your mic mute. What's that? Sandro, make yourself mute. Okay. Because when Sandro came on, we started to get a bounce. Okay. Okay, Ken. So number one, you got to state your. You can send me a copy of your resume. Sure. But you have to state that I have this talent. I will do a great job for you. You give me the opportunity to show you what I can do. Okay. And then you just work with Norman the next couple of months, and I will help you. Okay. Because you're unusual. Really? Yeah, because, you know, close to 75 people have signed up for my app in the last couple of weeks. 75. Okay. But only a few people bought it, and you're one of those that bought it. Sure. You're an amazing man. <laughs> well, most people expect an app to be free. Right. And this is, a, this is a funny story, because when I started to teach the Harada Method about eight years ago, it took me a long time to put it together, but I... The Harada method is a wonderful process, and you should do it precisely, precisely. I'll send you a set of all forms, Kent. Okay. So you can start. You have it on the app, but I'll send you a selection of forms. That'll be helpful. It'll be. I advise you to read my book if you haven't read my book. Uh, what, now I've got the Harada method book at home. Good. Uh, uh, is that yours? That's it. You read it. Yeah. Okay, so the Harada method is a wonderful technique. And when I learned it, I went to Japan. Harada taught me. I went to Japan and he taught me. And then I wrote the book with him. Uh -huh. And then I followed it precisely. And I decided I want to become the world's best Harada method trainer outside of Harada. That was my goal. Gotcha. Okay, and I worked very, very hard to do it. I spent one year developing courses, reading, studying, learning how to present better. And then I put together a certification course. Okay. And I made it one week long. <clears throat> one week long. I just sent you my resume. But one week long. Yep. And then, and then I started to promote it. And I got... Um, 50 people to sign up, and they paid me, Kent, $4,500 for that one-week course. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Only one person out of the 50 was a little unhappy, and he was unhappy because he said he charged, I charged him too much money. 
but nobody else complained. The other 49 were very happy, and that included the number of presidents. You can't make everybody happy. Yeah, but I'm just saying, yeah. I decided what I wanted to do. I followed the Harada method precisely. It is a wonderful method. Yeah. Now today, I have 75 people signed up, Ken. Okay. Most of those people want an app for free. Right. But what I'm offering them is the opportunity to have a great life. Yep. And that's what's got me excited about it, because it's not just about work. It's about personal uh, goals as well. Right. And, but the key is this, though. What I recommend you do is you try to establish your personal goal, but see if you can get it in alignment with your corporation. Yep. So you'll do both. You'll focus on you and you'll focus on your corporation's growth. Right. And you put together, I'm going to look at your resume, but I want you to put together something specific for your company that you'll do a great job for them. Okay. And they, how long you've been there? Seven years. So they know you. Yes. And they love you. Well, I don't know if I go that far. <laughs> well, <laughs> and you just, you just do, you do the Harada method and the method will build your confidence. Okay. It will do that. Okay. And, and that's all you need. You build your confidence. And you could do whatever you're challenged to do. You've been successful in life. You've done many wonderful things in your life. Yes. Very hardworking person. Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, I was raised to, to uh, not shy away from hard work. Right. And, uh, and I raised my two girls to do the same thing. And, and they're very successful in the education field. Wonderful. Look, I, I, one great man that I studied, and his name is um, his name is Inamori. Who? Inamori. Inamori. Murray. Inamori. He he was the president of uh, Kyocera, and he came up with a few things we'll talk a little bit about today. Okay. But he said he wants people to improve their attitude. Yeah. Close to 100 percent as possible. Then he said, "I want people to put in maximum effort." And then I want people to focus on their ability. And I have a great student. His name is Ahmed. He is a great student. I mean, this man is amazing. He just came in into this. Uh, I see that. Ahmed. Yeah. I mean, I love this man. He, he is brilliant. And he's a wonderful supporter. And he flew out here a couple of months back. And we did a two-day training together on the Harada Method. Is that right? Wow. And then he went to China and he taught the Harada method in China. Wow. But it's amazing what you could accomplish when you put your mind to it. So you'll do it. I Kent. believe that. Ahmed Kent is unusual. He paid for the app. <laughs> I, have okay. seven, I have 75 people that have signed up for the app and just a handful have... Uh, uh, only only an, a handful have paid for it so far. Because yeah, I, I have to apologize. I don't think I got a camera on my computer here. I don't know if you can see me or not. No, no, I no. can't see you. Huh? I can't see you. Maybe your no. maybe your maybe your video's not on. There's a button on the bottom which says video. Uh, maybe you can put your video. Uh, what kind of computer do you have? Oh, it's it's. Ours are all virtuals off a main server. Uh -huh. oh. Okay, now let's see. We have another person on the line. Who's the fourth person? Five people. That's wonderful. I can only see Ahmed at the moment, though. Uh, you can put your videos on so I can see you. I don't know if I have that. The rest of you, too. And well, okay, we can get started now. And what I want, what I thought I would talk to you, and I'm going to do this periodically, hopefully, maybe once a week, is because I, I was teaching at Portland State University, and um, I was teaching the best of Japanese management, and four students said to me they want to intern with me. 
And I was, I never did it before. And I said, okay, we'll intern together. And then uh, they came here to my office. And I wasn't sure what to do, but I had a map. And Ahmed, you and I should spend more time on that map. That's a very powerful instrument that very few people know how to use. Yeah. That'll help you tremendously in Agile, too. But this, we, did, we looked at this map. This map, and you'll get a copy of this map, too. Everybody here, um, I'm sure I have your name. Hi, Louis. Amazing. I have loyal friends. Louis is in Portugal. And I know. I, I'm an, I have to hook you up with Lewis. Okay. Yeah. You should become partners together and you should coach each other. Nice. Yeah, you, you, will, you will both like each other because you're both so very good. Well, Thank in, you. In this map, I discovered Takashi Harada. Didn't know anything about him, but we read his books. I was lucky because three of these four students could read Japanese and my wife is Japanese. And we ordered seven books from Japan that he wrote. And I became fascinated with him. And then I flew over to Japan because that's what I've done for 30 years. I, I, what I do is I translate, I have Japanese books translated into English and I've done over a hundred. So I thought I would take Harada's book and put it in English and they said, no, he wants to write a new one. And then luckily I said to him, let me be your co-author. And he said, yes. I should have said that to Shingo and Ono. <laughs> I wasn't smart enough back then. But I, I then learned the Harada method and put it into practice. And now I spent one year to develop this app. One of the hardest things I've done in my life to develop this app. Now, the app is two things. One, I think it's a great planner. I think it takes the best of the Franklin Day Planner as an example that now you could use online, you could use on your iPhone, and it will soon be on your computer. We're working on that now. So you'll be able to use it on your iPhone, you could use it on your iPad now, it works on an iPad, and it'll, it'll work on a computer pretty soon, and, they're all, and, and they'll, they'll all be integrated together. Okay. I think it's a great planner. But it's also the Harada method, which is very unique in the world. And I'm going to tell you a little bit why. But to make the Harada method work powerfully for you, all of you need a coach. You need a coach. Okay. And you want to be, Kurt, a continuous improvement manager. In order to do that, you want to open people to their potential. You don't only want to improve the process, you want people to improve. In order to improve, you need a coach. Tiger Woods has a coach. I agree. Every CEO I met, I, last year I spoke to 200 CEOs in Columbus, Ohio. I was so privileged, first time in my life, that I had 200 CEOs in the audience. And I said to them, every one of you has a coach. Is that true? Yes, they all had a coach. Really? Because they need a coach to bring the best out of them to manage the company. But they don't give people in the company a coach. Now, Ahmed is unusual. Ahmed is an agile coach. Most people don't have a coach, they have a boss, they have a supervisor. And right. the supervisor takes a different kind of role. The supervisor is there primarily to watch you, to criticize you, to control you. They're not there to develop you. They're not there to bring out the best of you. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs a coach. So now in this Harada method, this app that I'm marketing, and it's only $9.99 a month, which is so cheap. I used to charge $4,500 for this, and now you get it for $10 a month. And yeah. people want it for free. That's the crazy thing is they want it for free. And what do you get for free in this life? You get air and you get sunshine. Even if you want love, it costs a little bit of money. 
for a lot. <laughs> Everybody needs a coach. Yeah. People that have this app, I'm going to help you. If you don't have a coach, I will help you get a coach. That means I'll get somebody else that has the app and you'll coach each other. Just like I'm rec recommending Ahmed coach with Lewis. Ahmed is a great student and a lovely person. I love him very much. And the same was Lewis. Lewis gave me the best daily diary of anybody in the world. Wow. And I'll send you a copy of it. He'll, he lets me share it. It's Thank beautiful. You. What's beautiful is the energy that Lewis does to do this. And what Lewis did is he, 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 I trained him, and then he put the book into Portuguese. Wow. And Lewis, we have to figure out how to sell thousands of books all over the world because, I mean, well, how many millions of people are there in, in Brazil? Do you know? Uh, a lot, a lot of them. I don't know. I mean, I don't know for sure, but... Uh... Um, a few days ago, uh, I've been uh, talking with some people there that uh, they really want to know about uh, another method. Wonderful. Well, I have a new, I have a new contact. I told you, John Bayless. And next, next uh, Wednesday at eleven o'clock, you should all join us. Every other week, I'm doing this. John is a great lean consultant, really a great lean consultant, and willing to teach us this way. And somehow he is linked with 2,000 people in Brazil. And we have to make that contact for you, Louis, so that we can get all of them to buy your book. Great. We will work. I want to, I want to mention Chu Guy. It's in my book, too. Chu Guy, uh, pharmaceutical. I went, to, I went to Japan and it was a client of Mr. Harada. And I brought a study group there. It's a pharmaceutical company. And they introduced us to two of their workers, a young lady, brand new employee, and an older worker who was there four years. And he became her coach. And she filled out the Harada forms every single day. Every day she filled out the form. And I have copies of one set because she not only filled out the form, but she had an extra sheet and she wrote down all of her ideas on the extra sheet. And her goal, she said, in one year, I want to be a great employee of this company. That was her goal. I want to be a great employee. And she would meet with this coach that was a worker there for four years. Every day he met for her, maybe with five, 10 minutes a day. That's all. And he would look at her forms and he would mark her forms up in red. What he did, his goal is to have her become the best that she wants to be. That's okay, somebody else, if you're not talking, you should turn your mic off because I'm getting feedback from somebody's mic. Thank you very much. If you want to talk, put your mic on, that's fine. So I like this very much. The role of the coach is to support you, is to observe you, is to help you attain your goal to be a great employee. Now the coach has to know a little bit. First of all, the coach has to know how to coach. And what I'm going, what I'm intending to do today with a little bit is to go through you, with you, how to be a coach. Purpose of this session. Some of the things that I have learned from Mr. Harada, some of the things just came through recently, and you might know some of these. How to really be a great coach. A coach supports. A coach is very critical of their criticism. I was watching a golf match just a week ago, and the man who won the tournament was praising his coach. The coach was watching him with his swing and noticed a little quirk and got him to focus on correcting that quirk. So the, well, Mr. Harada introduced me to a company in Japan called Rezap. Rezap. I'll type it out on chat. 
and you could look it up on the internet and see videos. <clears throat> Rezap, a, a uh, 100,000 people in Japan have already been trained on Rezap. They pay $3,000 for that training. And people don't want to pay $9.99 for my app. I'm laughing internally because I have to figure out how to give you real value. So you recognize it and you go out and buy this app. Um, Norman? Yes. Rezap, is that a company name or is that the process they were learning there? I, it might be both. I don't know, Kent. But if you look up Rezap, you'll see it on the internet. Okay. And most of it is in Japanese, but you'll see some things in English. Oh, good. There's, yeah. And if you can't, you can't find it, I'll help you. Okay, I'll just put it on. Yes, you did. Okay, that's very good. Thank you. So what a Rezap person, what does Rezap do? Okay, one, they help people rebuild their bodies. And in America, that's vitally needed. 40% of Americans are obese, believe it or not. 40% of Americans are o overweight. So this company helps you build your body. And you get a personal coach. And that coach meets with you for maybe two hours a week. That's all. No, yeah, but that's about twice a week they meet you in a gym. And that coach knows the following. The coach knows what you want. Okay, you want to lose weight? and you want to build your body up. You want to build your body up because you want to feel good. You want to feel good about yourself. Right. Okay. So he knows what your goal is. Then he has an idea of what we call the standard. What standard is the best that you should be. And the standard is also the process that he is going to take you through going to take you through a process, which we also call the standard, for you to attain your goal. And then he observes. Okay. I was watching this video. It shows a person lifting weights, yeah. pushing these weights up. So he observes you doing it. And then he makes, he or she, makes subtle suggestions of what you should do to make improvement. And Kent, this is perfect for you as a continuous improvement manager. What, what I recommend you, you do, Kent, is learn how to use videos. Okay. Learn how to use videos on a process or use videos on people to help them operate at the standard. And the standard just represents the best of what people are capable of doing. Okay. So the coach observes you, makes suggestions, to keep you on track. They're very careful about criticism. Very careful about criticism. Criticism, criticism is good when you're a master. When you are a master, then criticism is very good to help you. But when you're going up the path to build your skill, criticism can hurt you and stop you. So you have to be very careful. And this is unfortunate because so many supervisors criticize right. instead of being there to support you. Okay, so he's watching you, and he's only with you for two hours. I think it's two hours, twice a week for two months. And you pay $3,000. And look at the results. You'll see it when you look at Rezap. Those that came in lately, late. Look at chat. It shows you R I Z A P. So that's number one, is to look at that form of coaching. I have a wonderful student. His name is Ed. Ed lives in Singapore. And Ed is a great coach, absolutely great coach. And Ed, ha Ed, Ed he takes three people in the coaching process. So he had one person observes another, the two people are working together and they observe each other to help each other. Then there's number three, which watches both of them. I like that concept. So a coach 
observes you. Okay. Then Mr. Horada taught me another thing in coaching, which I think is wonderful. And it's, I have to, I, I have a lot of work on this. I have to ask my lovely wife to help me because I have a whole bunch of videos uh, from Harada in Japanese. If any of you know Japanese, I'll send you copies so you could look at it. But I got to get my wife to help translate these because they're, they're on Harada's coaching process. Harada's coaching process is every day your coach looks at your forms. Primarily the daily diary. Initially, they, he looks at, she looks at all of your forms, your long-term goal setting sheet, your 64th chart, and, and helps you to make sure that what you are doing is going to get your goal. So if you want to build a house, that's your goal. You have to make sure you, pre, you do the right steps to build your house. And that's what your tasks are, is, is to set up step by step so you're going to attain your goal. And a good coach looks at it and then helps you put them into schedule. Okay. And marks up your long-term goal setting sheet with red marks. And I have examples. And everybody could have a copy of my examples, all nine of you. If I don't have your email address, send me an email to Bodek. I'll put it here. And I'll send you a copy of all my forms to look at. Okay, Bodic at PCExpress.com. I'll send you these forms to look at, um, Harada forms. And I'll show, also send you examples in red so you'll see what marking is about. It's to give you positive, positive reinforcement. Harada recommends that you praise people. Every day you should praise at least five people at a minimum. Because Amma, you come home and you praise your lovely wife and what, you have three children and you praise all of them every day. And then you go to work and you praise them. You praise the heck out of everybody. Yes. Absolutely. When I was younger, I couldn't praise. I mean, my father never praised me. Never. My teachers never praised If you look at my report card, you'll see they never praised me. <laughs> I never got an A until the 10th grade. It was amazing in my life. But you learn how to praise to get positive reinforcement. And then you write comments that you think will help. So you write helpful comments. That's the role of the coach. The role of the coach is to observe and give positive feedback. Okay, the third thing Harada gave me, which is very powerful, and he only gave it to me recently, which is really funny. I've been working with him for eight years. He's very good if I ask for it. If I don't ask, I don't get. And this is true in life. It really is a hard thing, you know, we wait. A lot of people are waiting. <laughs> I don't know what we're waiting for, but we're waiting. But the Bible says, ask and I shall receive. That's right. So Creative energy, this creative energy, this, this divine energy is a great servant. It is there to serve you, but you have to demand from it. You have to demand what you want. Okay, so you have to learn how to demand. Okay, so Harada, gave, so Harada doesn't give me, just like this divine energy doesn't give me unless I demand it, just if I ask for it. And you got to ask like a lion, not like a mouse. So, Kent, when you look for this new job, you're going to become the manager. You put it into your head, you're going to get that job as a manager. But you're going to demand it as a lion, not like a mouse. Okay. You deserve it. You have the skill. You have the ability. You, you love the company that you work for. You're a loyal worker, and you'll do a superior job for them. Yes, maybe you'll have to take some training courses. Maybe you'll have to work better with me. <clears throat> That's okay. Maybe you'll get the company to invest in you. I charge, oh. I charge $1,250 to be individually trained by me. I used to charge $4,500. Now I train over Zoom 
1250 It's well worth the money. And if you don't get the money worth, I'll give you the money back. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's the, my advertisement. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you, okay. you want to, okay. <clears throat> so now what Harada taught me, this is new, is you look at the 64 chart. And you should be part of a team. Everybody should be part of a team. A lot of people are not. Because in America, we are not team oriented. We like sports very much. But when it comes to work, it's rare that we have teams at work. It is rare. And the reason for this is American industry hates unions. They hate unions. Yes. In Japan, the union, the union was a partner of the company. They were partners. And the union in Japan is there to support the company, not to fight the company, but to support the company. Okay. So in America, we don't like unions and we don't like people to get together. Because when people get together, they have strength. You know what I mean? You have a lot more strength when you're in a group than when you are by yourself. For sure. So there's a tendency in America not to like teams, but we should have teams. And what Harada does with the 64th chart is these students would help each other. So when Shohei Otani, this great baseball player, did the Harada method, his team members would take one of the tasks. So Itani wanted to improve his curveball. One of the students would work with Otani to help him improve the curveball. So that's what we need. We need people to help us. And that's why everybody needs a coach. And your coach is there to help you. If you're part of a team, then you got more people as coaches to you. So three principal things that I've learned from Harada recently is one is ReZap, this wonderful method in Japan where 100,000 people have been trained and now it's spreading to Singapore. I don't know if it's in America at this moment. You should look to see yeah. if they're in, in America. And if not, maybe you can get a license to become a ReZap teacher in America. There you go. Zap coach. I, don't think I, I don't think I've matched those figures that they got on their website. So maybe, maybe the before shot. <laughs> you, you, well, but you got something to work on. That's wonderful, Ken. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> well, listen to this. You know, I I have a good friend. His name is Paul Akers. And one, day, one day, Paul Akers says, I said, Paul, I'm going to India. And Paul says, I want to go with you. I just want to travel with you. He is so free and so rich, he can do anything he wants. Yeah. And so he said, I want to go to India with you. I said, okay, I'm invited by this very big company to come to India. So he went to India with me. And then he looks at me and he says, Norman, you're overweight. <laughs> and he says, I recommend the following. One, no sugar. No sugar. Two, no wheat, no pasta. And then he said three, I have to be very careful about this three, Kent, because he says you don't eat anything that comes out of a box. I'm sorry to say that because you make boxes. Yeah. Actually, we make bags. <laughs> we make bags, okay. But we you see, <laughs> what, come, what comes in a lot of boxes are preserved, you know, they're foods with preservatives food with chemicals. They have high fructose corn syrup. They're not very good for you. Right. Okay, so Paul pretty much said no sugar and no wheat. And I listened to him, which is very rare because it's rare for us to learn how to listen. Yeah. I listened to Paul. I gave up sugar primarily. Now I have a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. But I pretty much stay away from wheat. I used to have bagels every Sunday. I have no more bagels. Uh -oh. and I used to eat a lot of pasta. I used to love spaghetti and 
and uh, a lot of a lot. My wife is Japanese, so we'd have a lot of rice. We pretty much cut that down, and believe it or not, Kent, I lost twenty five pounds. Wow, that's great. In what period of time? Maybe it took a year. I wasn't in a rush. I just followed what he told me. And I exercise. You know, I make sure I get on the treadmill every day. Okay, now let's stop. There are eight people in the group. So start to ask me questions. Hopefully you might have some questions. How do I find a coach? Aha. Uh -huh. See? What I said the following, if you can't find somebody to support you as a coach, then I'll find somebody for you. Okay. You just send me an email and I'll find you a coach. I'll find somebody else that signed up for the app and you'll become coaches with each other. And then you'll teach them what you learned today in this session. And then we can have more sessions together and to learn from them. Okay. And Ahmed is a great coach. I'm going to get him to do more teaching. Okay. Anybody else have a question, please? Go ahead. So, uh, Sensei, can I ask a question? Please. So, so are we going to try to operationalize the Rise app model, like the two twice a week, or are we going to continue with the original daily diary, asynchronous, and once a week check base. What, what does it mean, tactically speaking? Say from that the Rise app. What's your so, you know, so the question is, Rise app has a model where the coach meets you twice a week for two hours. Right, for right, two right, 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 right. Until you're on your stage, and then it's ad hoc. Right. Um, the one that we've been adhering to in Harada Peer Coaching was every day you send your daily diary whenever you update your long-term form. But then weekly basis, you meet with in person to ask questions. So is that going to change? Is there a better way to do it now? What's the frequency is my question. Okay. It's like anything. You have a goal. And if the coach helps you attain that goal, you keep that relationship. So in this company, this woman would meet every day with their coach because she was getting a benefit. If there's no longer a benefit, then you stop. Like anything, then you stop. If you attain your goal, you stop. And you try to set up a new goal. But I think that, that if you can get a coach where two people could help you, look, you're an agile coach. That goes on every single day, doesn't it? Yeah. It doesn't stop because people need reinforcement. And you have, a, you have a challenge. You, as an Agile, have a real challenge is how do I get people to grow? That's a real challenge because many, many of your people do the same thing over and over again for the last six years. American industry has done that, unfortunately, you know. If we go back to the 1800s, people were craftspeople. They had very high skill. High skill gives you a great life. It's as simple as that. The best way to have a great life is to have a high skill. The best way to have a great life is to become a master. And then along comes Frederick Taylor and Henry Ford, and they simplify work, and they de-skill, they put you on an assembly line, and even if Toyota has a three-minute tack time. Three-minute tack time. That means every three minutes, the people are doing the same thing over and over again. That's terrible. And Toyota calls it respect for people. How do you give people respect when you give the same job? Now, Honda is changing this. Honda is going towards mastership. Hmm. They're getting rid of that three-minute tack time. Okay. They're having a person start to build a lot of that car. Canon did the same thing. Expanded the ability of Japanese companies. I've been into a number of them. They're starting to expand the job skill instead of simplifying the going in the reverse direction. And I recommend everybody here start to think about that. It's, it's a terrible thing, which is the American educational system. It's a shame. Because 
you can go through 13 years of school, you can graduate high school and get a degree, and you have no skill to make a living. No skill to make a living. Right. Milton Friedman, funny thing, Milton Friedman was a very famous man. He was a professor at the University of Chicago, and he won the Nobel Prize in economics. And he won the Nobel Prize stating that the purpose of a corporation is to make profits for the stockholders. And all American corporations follow that. So the number one thing that American corporation looks for today is profits. Profits is making people very, very rich. 1% of the people is getting very, very rich and the rest of us are getting poorer. And our bridges are falling down and our roads are falling down and our cities are falling down because we're not focusing on the right thing. Ina Mori, which I recommend you all study, and if you look at the chat, I would put the correct spelling of Kazuo Inamori. Inamori said the following. He, to me, is the world's best manager. He said, number one, you focus on people. I mean, you said backstep is the company should have a very clear vision. Very clear vision of what you're all about. A very strong purpose of what the company is about. And that purpose should be good for everyone not just for the stockholders, good for all our employees. And so Inamori says, yes, the first thing we want to do is we want to focus on people, that people are growing and they're happy at work. The next thing he said, I don't care how hard they work. I want them to put in maximum effort. That's okay. But the next thing you focus on is you focus on your products and service that you make the best high quality products and you deliver the best high quality services possible the best ahmed works with fidelity i've been with fidelity for 30 years they never call me i shouldn't say never because last week for the first time they called me after 30 years ahmed the first time in 30 years they picked up the phone and called me to help me well, Take my money, but they don't help me. <laughs> so we want to focus on improving products and services. Third That's thing is you focus on your customers. You make sure your customers are fully satisfied with these great products and services you're delivering. And I want you to focus on the environment. Forget about uh, President Trump. We're in trouble in the environment. And then the last thing you focus on is profits. And what I tell you is if you do one, two, and three right, if you do one people, two products and services, three customers and environment, you'll get all the profits that you need. Kyocera has never lost money in 50 years. Mm. Great model. And he's come up with something else, which is a real key, is he's come up with a philosophy of what the company is all about. So we start with the vision. President Kennedy said, I don't know when the exact year was, but he said, we're gonna put a man on the moon. And he said, we're gonna do it in 10 years, and I think we did it in nine. And I remember I was in London the day we put a man on the moon. I was standing in Trafalgar Square in the central, central London, and we were watching a big screen up there showing the man landing on the moon. That was a famous moment in the world. So the clarity is we all should have in our company a very clear vision. And if you can, there's eight people in, in the audience, right? If you can, get me to talk to your CEO, your plant manager. I would love them to help them set up a vision. I would love to meet with the president of Fidelity as an example, and get them to get a very clear vision of what their purpose is about, not just making money. I mean, it's a great company. And you know, it's really funny because I've had my money they with there for at least 30 years, I've made nothing. My wife is at Fidelity. Now what I, what I have done over the years, I thought I was a trader. 
So I would build, buy and sell stock and make nothing. My wife worked for Florida Power and Light. They put money into her retirement plan. She left it and her stock has gone up 30 times in the last 30 years. Wow. It's amazing. So I'm lucky I have a rich wife. I just have to please her yeah. <laughs> and be careful. Okay, anybody else have a question, please? Come on, eight of you. As far as, as, far as the coaching goes, Norman, uh, <laughs> possible, I mean, if you consider all the aspects of your life that you want to improve in, uh, you set goals spiritually, physically, and professionally and whatnot, uh, I can see where you may need more than one coach for the different areas, or is it typically where one coach could coach you in all aspects? Of yeah, of course, of course. Look, of course, very good question, B, because coaching is an art. Coaching is an art. I mean, to be a great coach is rare. I mean, how many John Woodens have been there in American history? Only one. I mean, John Wooden, I think, had 10 years where his basketball team on UCLA um, was the best in the country. So being a great coach is – but we can learn from the great masters. If you go to John Wooden – and it's part of the Harada method, by the way, is to try to come up with sayings. And what I recommend is you go – and instead of waiting for sayings, you go study great sayings. So go to John Wooden on internet and look at his sayings. And take a saying a day. Just take one of his sayings a day and say it over and over again to yourself. Put it up on a big wall. Everybody comes into your room. You show them that saying. I learned this one many years ago. I learned something called memory pegs because I have such a bad memory. Mm. The University of Texas, they were, they were teaching this thing called memory pegs, you know, try to improve my memory. And during that course, it was a four-day course, and they got me to say every day better and better in every day, every way. Better and better in every way, every day. I just did it every single month, every single day, every day, better and better in every day. And you keep reinforcing yourself. Sayings are wonderful and powerful. So mm -hmm. I'm saying go study great coaches. I like John Wooden. I like Phil Jackson, who was the basketball coach yeah. of the Los Angeles Lakers, Chicago, also. I hey, like Norman. Yes, go ahead, please. This is Jim. I have a question for you. Is yes, this sir. part of a sequence, a series that you're doing on coaching for Harada? Um, because I, I just got an email from you uh, yesterday, I think, and – wasn't sure what this is. Is this something you've been running and is going to continue? Or well, what you, you can help me, Jim. I mean, this is the first time I'm doing it. Okay. I would and love you're intending to do this on a I regular basis? I want with... to do on a regular basis at different levels. I want to help people on the Harada Method, number one. I want to help people make this app very effective. I mean, right now, Jim, 75 people have signed up for the app and only a handful have paid for it. And Kent Zimmerman, who's on this group, is one of those that paid for it. Right. So I want to help people use the app effectively. It's a great planner. It is a great planner. But in order to be the Harada method in its best, people need a coach. And so I haven't emphasized this enough. Everyone needs a coach. And if they don't get a coach on their own, I'm going to connect them with somebody else that has the app. And they'll coach each other fundamentally. And then both of them have to grow how to be, got to become better coaches. Because you got That's to my question. Is this, is this particular session that you're doing around coaching yes. and only the coaching? What I'm trying to do, yeah, I know I, I scatter, which is true with Norman. But that's my focal point with this session is to help people understand they need a coach and what coaching is all about. Right. And I've so how, how frequently do you want to do this, Norm? I want to reinforce the Harada method, say, at least once a week. 
but you've got this other thing going that is bi-weekly, I think, that yes. it's not this, right? This I have is... another one which is bi-weekly, and that is a little bit wider. More introductory. Well, the wider, the, 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 one, the one I'm doing, I'm doing, I did it with John Bayless. And John I hope, Bayless, yeah. Yeah, and I hope to do it with Jim Hudson also. So that you'll be part of these two uh, as we do them. And those bi-weeklies, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing as I'm trying to help people understand how to make lean more effective and how to look more at the human side of lean. Like, like Kent is a continuous improvement uh, consultant in his company. What does that really mean? Help people to improve the lean efforts because most lean efforts fail. Mm -hmm. According to John Bayless, Ballas, um, only 1.6% of lean efforts have succeeded more than 10 years, only 1.6%. So people do lean, it doesn't sustain itself. Thank you, Jim. Anybody else have a question? Mm -hmm. Come on, there's eight in the audience. Come on, everybody should ask a question. Everyone. I have a question, but I can wait for somebody else to speak. Go ahead. Or should I go ahead? So a uh, question about, so in America, everything has to be sort of formalized. That's just kind of our, our process. So from a, from a licensing and certification point of view, right? Yeah. if we don't do it, then there's going to be imitation and there's going to be confusion, right? So how do we connect back and how do we create a process? So there's a path towards um, license, I guess. That's a wonderful idea. Thank you very much. You helped me. That's wonderful, Ahmed. Let's do it together. I, I initially started out that way. And I taught, as I mentioned, 50 people. And I certified them. And of those people that I certified, the book, my book is going to be in 12 languages. It will be in 12 languages. It's going into Hindi. Right now it's going to Nepalese. Um, Chinese, because of you, Ahmed. <laughs> and so you, you, that's, you, you, you're, you're going to put me back on the, the right path. Harada has, started, by the way, Harada has certified, I don't know how many people, he's taught... 90,000 people in Japan, 90,000. But most of those 90,000 have been taught by his certified instructors. Yes. And like I went to Japan, which is very unusual. I got on a jet. I spent a lot of money. I even paid Harada $5,000 for the training. And I was surprised because mm -hmm. I published a book with him. But he still called me. Come on, Christophe. Christophe is in France. Hi, hi Norman. Hello. Nice to Sorry, see you. I Go ahead, ask a question. Hello, J just two things. The first thing, um, as you are going through the certification of Harada coaches, uh, let's just group them on our LinkedIn group and connect them between each other so that right. they can use their experience on that. And what about having end users using your app, joining the Zoom session? every week to, to tell a little bit to the audience what they are doing with the app. Say that again, Christophe, mm -hmm. I did, that wasn't clear. Say it again, the, the second. Sorry, yeah. um, what about getting people using the apps, coming to join on the Zoom sessions and telling others what they do with the app daily? Very good. Interesting. Excellent idea. We'll do this. So right now, right now I'm using the app and I'm starting with one, one colleague of mine, a little bit of the Harada cycle and, and you know, coaching each other. Good. And it's, it's, uh, it's starting a little bit. It's not so easy. It takes some, some time. And that's, uh, um, I think we will we'll grow by learning. I think so too, Christopher. And once yeah. you get started, everything takes time. I mean, the first time you meet with a coach, it could take a couple of hours. But then when, when you're looking just primarily on the daily diary, you're looking, is this person doing what they want to do? That's the main yeah. thing. And there's clarity on their goal. You, as a coach, you have to know what people want. Well, with this ReZap, they know people want to lose weight and they want to build their body. 
So it's very clear what they're doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. we, have, we want to do the same thing with the Harada method. We have clarity of what the person wants to attain with their goal and the role of the coach is to support them. And I like two people coaching each other and then we could help them. Mm -hmm. We yeah, could that's help great. them become better coaches. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wonderful question. Thank you, both of you. Come on, who else that's here? Ask a question. There's eight of you out there, and I've only heard from four. Who else? Anybody else have a question? So, uh, Norman, this is Christoph again. Maybe, maybe a last question. Please. Um, you said that you recommend deploying the Harada method to a team, right? Yes. Do you want to? So you start with a group of people and they all start the same exercises. No, no. Um, what I mean with a team, what I mean with a team is it's great when you work in a company that you're part of a team. Yeah. I'm not sure yet how do we use the Harada method to create a team. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure of that at this moment, but we can work on that. Because in a team, everybody has another rhythm of development. You will have some people who will grow very fast and other people who will struggle. Yes, that's, that's true. But the, the, ideal, the ideal is we want our team to be a winner. Yeah. And the team is only as strong as their weakest part, right? Yeah, true, true, yeah. Yeah, so if, if, we're, if, if we want our team to be a winner, I'm just bringing in what Harada taught me is that Otani, on the 64th chart, other members of his team helped him. By t they, they would take a task and they would work with Otani on his specific task. And he would work with another team member. And the funny thing is Otani is now playing on the Los Angeles Angels. And last year he was picked as the number one baseball player, new baseball player in the American League. Number one. This year he's great. A week ago, he was the first Japanese to hit a home run, a single, a double, a triple in the same game. Mm -hmm. He's an amazing man. And he still uses the Harada method today. And the funny thing is, Another student from the same high school pitches for the uh, Seattle Mariners. The two students from Harada are playing in the major league today. I like that very much. Thank you very much, Christopher. Anybody else have a question, please? Just so I understand, um, Norman, uh, you know, I downloaded the app yesterday, so it looks like every um menu item on the app has a set of instructions a video so i'm assuming that i just go ahead and launch into this by reading your instructions watching the videos for each one and then just start making it work absolutely absolutely just right. go through the process the process is this kent the first thing you do is the daily diary not that is a 33 question I did That's that. The first thing you do that, and that shows you how confident you are. And then, if you want to improve, you write down an improvement idea. And then you could make that improvement idea either a test or routine. Routine is something you're going to do over and over again almost every day. A task has a start date and an end date. <clears throat> right. Then you go to the long term goal setting sheet and you, 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 put, you fill up that matrix. The matrix is. What do you want in this life? What do you want for you and what do you want for others? You make that out. Then you go to the 64th chart and you try to come up with as many tasks as you can to attain your goal. Some of those on the 64th chart, they'll be routines. Okay. Then you have another form which is called the routine check sheet. Routine check sheet, you're going to write down all. Look, the other thing is this everybody is locked into their habits. Everybody is a prisoner of their habits. That's why we gain too much weight. 
we have the habit of having too much sugar. Right. Everybody is a prisoner of that habit. But if you could realize that you are the prisoner, you are keeping yourself in jail, nobody else. And okay. what keeps you in your jail is your habits. The wonderful part of the Harada method is we come up with new routines. These new routines are to help us replace those bad habits. Right. And then you go there every day to see, are you doing it? But I've realized you need a coach because we're too good to ourselves. We are good, too good to ourselves. And we don't listen to ourselves. And we don't do always what's good for us. So we need an outside person to observe, to watch us and just say, Kent, you wanted to do this today. What do you think? Yeah. What could you do differently tomorrow to see that you do what you want to do? Okay. Coach can take a very simple but very powerful role. Come on, somebody else ask a question. Anybody else? Thank you. Force yourself to ask questions. Uh, one more question on the 64 chart, chart 64. I open up my app to the chart 64 chart. It's just a, a blue page. How do you initiate the uh, squares, I guess? So. Well, you just type in each square. Right in the center, you should have your goal. When you yeah. fill out the goal on the long-term goal sitting sheet, it should uh, automatically go to the centered in the 64 chart. So you'll see that. And then okay. around that, if you listen to my video and instructions, around the first group are categories or areas. Right. These are areas where you're going to put specific attention. You know, okay. it might be who you have to study. It might be you have to, you want to learn marketing. You want to improve your speeching or writing, et cetera. You write down the areas where you're going to put your attention. And then when you move over a little bit to the next group, like I wanted to improve my, my presentation skills. So I go okay. to the next group of eight boxes and I write it in the center. I put presentation skills and then I then come up with eight tasks to okay. help improve my presentation skills. So the, you're, you're right, Kent. Listen to my videos in sequence. Right. Look at the instructions. You'll see examples for all of them. And then always stay in contact with me and we'll try to get you a coach if you can't get one. How do I get the uh, daily diary to start before 6 a.m.? I'm usually up at 4.30. So. What do you mean? Daily diary is available anytime to you. What? Well, I mean, the, the, I can't put nothing in the daily diary before 6 a.m. in the morning. Oh, <laughs> don't worry about that. That's okay. Don't worry about that. You put okay. in what you can with, with it. I mean, if it says 6 o'clock, you have to do something at five, put it in. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Anybody else have a question? I want to thank you all for coming here today. You've been very, very helpful. Very helpful for me. Norman talks a lot, but I'm grateful that I could learn with you. Thank you. You've been very, very helpful for me today to all of you. Thank you. And I'm going to work closer with, with Ahmed on the certification process and closer with Christophe. And Christophe is helping me set up this uh, Arata Method Club where we, uh -huh. where we will share the best of what we learn together. Yeah. True. And uh, Sensei, if you can connect me to Luis Marquez. Um, yes, I will okay. do this right now. I will Thank give you, you Lewis's email address. Hold on a second. I have it right here. Okay, hold on. I got a copy here. He has two, yeah, this one's good. No, wait, 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 wait. We can do it later, it doesn't have to Lewis, be. Lewis, right what is your best email address? Yeah. I'll, say, I'll, I'll type it. You type it in, okay, put it in chat. 
You see it? Yep. Um, yes. That's, that's Lewis's. Very right. good. Thank you. You hook up together and share your forms with each other and send sure. them to me occasionally also. And Lewis, show them some of those wonderful ones that you sent me that's all colored up. Uh, they're, so. they're beautiful. Thank you very much, all of you, for coming. I appreciate it very much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye.